Hello, MacWarriors. How's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online, where we are playing a laser vomit crab today. Not crab, but crab with a soft B. This mech is uh, very interesting because it's a 50 ton inner sphere medium mech that has a good chunk of energy hard points. And we are taking the 27B today that has six of them for a nice classic laser vomit. Also, the hitboxes of the mech are great because when you take a look at it from the front and you just ignore the arms, it's very narrow. That means um, you can splash the damage quite nicely and enemies have a harder time hitting you and I really like the crab. It's kind of a squat little mech. It's kind of a mini tank if you want. Now let's take a look at the build and as you can see we have six energy hard points kind of spread all over the mech here. Our center torso is filled with a large pulse laser that has a range of 400 meters, deals 10 damage. It's a very straightforward very solid weapon and we have some ER medium lasers in the head and then two of them in the arms each that also have a range of about 400 meters and deal solid damage. So overall we deal 35 damage alpha strike which is honestly not much. However, we have a good enough of a heat management that we can be constantly engaged and shoot our weapons over and over and over again and it will rack up damage numbers over time. And since we have such a great, um, I would say, brawling silhouette or you know, damage taking silhouette, we can just stay in the fights and we really don't care too much about taking damage in return. So it kind of acts as a damage dealer, a DPS, a small DPS but still DPS, a tank, something like that again. So it's a, it's a very nice mech that I really love to play. We are running a light engine 270 brings us to about 90 kph, 87.5 roundabout, no, actually exactly, and uh, yeah, we can lose one side also and we can still run and shoot, which is actually quite interesting because uh, it doesn't matter which side we lose, we only lose two lasers, and that is very important here because uh, we still maintain most of our firepower even if one of the side torsos is gone. Of course, heat management is gonna be a little bit harder then, but still, it's uh, it maintains a lot of firepower even if damaged. We're gonna take a look at the skills before we dive into the two games for today and as you can see we have the classic laser vomit firepower tree we got laser duration one two three and four as well as a good chunk of heat gen here heat gen here heat gen here heat gen heat gen it's all about heat gen guys and cool down so we can fire more often we invested a little bit into the actually quite a lot into the right side of the survivability tree here and that's because uh, we have a lot of skeletal density we have a lot of um, uh, structure quirks on this crab and therefore i wanted to amplify them with even more skills on top of that we also have maximum cool run we have 60 percent raid at privation as well as a double cool shot plus uh, first game a UAV, second game an artillery strike. So, just so you are aware. And that's the build, everybody. Now it's time to actually hit the battlefield. So, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a rating when you're done. Subscribe to the channel right now. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Terra Therma. We are playing uh, Sold. And I do believe it's a good idea to go to the Goal 7 area because that's where most of the fights will happen. So, let's go. It might be that our enemies are coming from either Golf 8, Fox 8, or or Fox 7. So we gotta kind of watch over all of those spots. Also, do I want to be the one to engage early? Uh, I think I can. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So nobody here, nobody there. I want to check Fox 7, but it seems to be clear. Nobody here. Okay, so since I cannot deal any damage right now, I'm gonna fall back because it is too risky for me to do anything right now. Actually, let's get to high ground a little bit. 600 meters. Hmm, we could have shot him if I got a clear angle on this guy. But I cannot. There are lots of missiles flying from that direction. Good UAV there. Thank you for that. I mean, as soon as our enemies are popping in, uh, we can probably do something against them. But right now, I can only take some pot shots there. Oh, get the Kodiak Delta, guys. He's coming around the corner in a second. Do you see him? Give him hell. Now. Go for it, guys. Light him up. Oh, yeah, nice. Well done, guys. He's almost, almost open. Cool, cool, cool. And that is all because of our uh, spotter there. This, this could be done because we had the um, we had the coordination here coming from there. Uh, enemies are making white berth around us, by the way. They're going to Golf 8, not to the Fox 7 area. This is clear, which means that we will quickly take that while we are while we are here. So taking that UAV is important. Uh, on the Sun Spider, Fox Trot. Ooh, it's a big LRM boat. And then we also want to get the Kodiak. Careful with the lasers, though, because we don't want to hit friends. Oh, shit, and down he goes. Right, good. we got to be somewhat fast with the left side flank, though, because our guys on the right are getting wrecked if we don't act now. So, on, let's get the Kodiak. And base is being captured, yeah. Somebody's running a Spider 5v and he's doing some, some base cap shenanigans. So, uh, I hope that we can intercept that. There's a Kodiak. Oh, yes, light him up. 
Oh, let's do it again. That's the side torso open. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm trying to adjust here, and we got the kill. Perfect! Anybody at base? Yeah, two people are going back, so that's fine. I hope that we will get the, um, you know, the base back in time. That's an enemy that we can actually shoot. Let's go with that. Uh, is that for me? It's not really for me. Stay on the hunchback, please, hotel, if you can. Mmm, not quite, but almost. Cool thing is that we are actually quite cold on this map. So, that's an LRM Arctic Wolf. The problem that I'm seeing right now is that we are not really able to contest this big, big ball of max. Uh-huh. They have a lot of armor there. Uh, Bushwacker is cored. What can we do against that? I don't know. Not against him being cored, but against all of what's coming around the corner here. I mean... <sighs> We got, this, uh, we got the base clear, but it came with a cost, and that cost is... A uh, linebacker in the open. Charlie, he's almost down. Roger. Ah, oh, so close, but we have sight. Yeah, we got that. Good, 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 good. Uh, he's gonna come around the corner in a second. Never mind, he is dead. Oh, and the piranha wanted to push with him. Get the legs off the piranha. Uh, Alpha. Gonna come again? No? Yes? No? Maybe? Ah, uh, he's staying there. All right, so... There he is, in the low ground, but that's okay. All right, on the cataphract. Cataphract down, let's go. Okay, guys, let's wrap it up. Move in. Cool, cool, cool. So that worked. Spider's here. Uh, spider's where? Oh, this guy. The Arctic Wolf, the Lurum Wolf. Let's try to take a side torso. Let's try to take a full wolf if possible. So that's the thing. Cool shot. It's actually the first cool shot here. Aim carefully. And we got him in the end. So, now it's time to actually wrap up the kill on Mr. Quick Draw, And then we're gonna go home and celebrate our victory. Perfect! So, two light mags at our base. One is a piranha, one is a spider. Spider is the last guy. And he tried to distract us. But uh, since we had a heads up because somebody else was playing against that guy, or actually with him, um, we actually knew what was coming. And we didn't really move that far from our base. We could intercept him. It was a good distraction, though. Yeah, it really yeah. was. I wonder why the big ball of max didn't contest us three max that we're kind of holding there in the position. It was absolutely crazy. They could have, if they pushed us, they could have easily killed us, but they didn't. Anyway, we got zero killing blows, but 11 assists, two kill most damage dealt, 600 damage done with two components destroyed. And that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective, we are playing Domination, and my team wants to go to the center, which I definitely approve. I really like the center in this map here. So, we're gonna go with the big guys, we're gonna use our Assault Max as our meat shields. We have Mama Crab here, and it has some very interesting letters on its back. Uh-huh. Alrighty. So, uh, we also got a Night Star, we got a Supernova, lots of chicken walkers with high or big, big upper torsos, as well as me, the little crab. Let's go, guys. We also should probably watch this while we are moving. But uh, people were saying that we should take top. They were saying that we we should meet up in the Delta 4 area. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Also, I swapped my Taking UAV top. for an artillery strike. Okay. Very important here. Uh, in the first game, I had the UAV. Now I have an RD strike. And I see enemies. There's a grasshopper up top, right? A grasshopper up top, you say? All right. There's a Vapor Eagle with ATMs. A good chunk of them. They have a UAV up. Now it's down. UAV. Yeah, it's down. So, um... That thing was important because um, those missile carriers, they are not allowed to get any kind of locks on us. And we're just gonna hopefully not get hit by the Happy Ghost Cyclops, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so we take top here. I also don't want to block. It's very important. Gonna drop another Arty Strike right there and... Sorry. Um, yeah, Happy Ghost Cyclops right side is almost open. It's Echo. Go for right side if you can. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, come on, come on. Get the critic. Ah! No, Mr. Waka. Why? <laughs> Dude. We need to get eyes on Echo 5. Oh, yeah, we uh, copy that. I'm doing it. Look at Echo 5. They're in the open. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So Echo 5 is getting pushed, you say. There's a guy. Hello, Mr. Trap. Mr. Streak Trap. Okay. So what's our pitch angle? It is actually good enough for that. And those are not for me. So we're gonna, we're gonna shoot Mr. LRM Boat in the back. Uh-huh, go for right side on golf, please. What's that? Hello. <laughs> I really want that side torso gone. And he's kind of stuck anyway. What? Could you not obstruct my line of sight, Mr. Enemy? 
Those Pop-Tarts. Give me that side of yours. It's about time you lose it. All right, so half of the mech is down, basically. Now we're going to go for the other side. <laughs> so you say something about it. I'll, I'll take the UAV. All right, that's important because that makes the missiles go stop. And uh, we're going to... Mm, yeah, I wanted to say we're going to hold this here, but I'm not entirely sure anymore. We definitely need to cool down a little bit. So you were shooting... Oh, okay, bumping into you, I'm sorry. What were you shooting? Oh, there's a guy. Mm, the low mounts, man, the low mounts. It's uh, it's an LBX, um, what's it called? Uh, Mad Dogger. And now we are getting shot from somewhere. So, I need to really, really reconsider my, my, my team cohesion, my positioning right now. Because right now... There's another okay. shot there. Uh, we are... Nah! I hate it. I thought my mounts were higher, but they were not. I'm dealing a lot of team damage here. I'm really sorry for that. But, okay. So, uh, turning around behind us. Definitely, definitely, definitely. There's still missiles being shot from the high ground. But there are people coming from okay. behind. And those guys need to go. Uh, we really got him? You want to get more? Come on, go for it. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Ah, oh, he's getting shot by missiles. All right, so he's gonna disengage now. But where did the Gauss shot come from? That was... Uh -huh. Somewhere. Somewhere. That was bad. I know, I know, I know. I wanna, I wanna hunt him down. I'm also gonna go for night vision here. There he is, on the high ground. Yeah, saw him now. That is a dude. We are seven and eight. Get the trap. He's one shot. Oh, come on. Please. Is he gonna jump up again? I don't know. That's a grasshopper from earlier. What about Foxtrot? Can we hit him? I mean, that's good. He's not aware, or he doesn't care, or he's focused on somebody else. I cannot really do anything against him. I need better range in order to contest that guy. So, the good news is that my Mauler friend still has a lot of armor, so we're gonna pair up with him. And um, we are 8 and 9! This is super, super, super tight. King Crab is almost down. Um, there's a Grasshopper, and then there is a Huntsman with LRMs in Echo 5. And that's our King Crab down. Okay. So it's you and me, buddy. Uh, there's yeah, the high ground. Okay, got it. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna eat all of that, sure. No. What? Where did you come from? <laughs> okay, hit me. Hello? Side, dude. Okay. Okay. So, where is my Mauler buddy? I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's running in our hymns. Oh, that's why. Okay, got it. I thought he was something different. I thought he was he was more direct fire, but that 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 checks now. That makes sense that he was not going in and, you know, getting uh pressure on our enemies. He wanted me, he needed me to actually get the lock so he could fire indirectly. Got it. But anyway, good job everybody. It was a very tight fight. Uh we lost it sadly. We soaked up 600 damage. So we dealt 600. We got 2 KMDDs. We got 6 assists, no kills sadly, but 3 components destroyed. That my friends was the crab. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you next time goodbye